Fear the Walking Dead Season 3, Episode 12, Brother's Keeper. Now this episode is leading into the final three for the season, and I gotta say, it definitely did some stuff right, but there's like one thing in particular that I felt it did wrong, and that was mostly Nick. Like, I don't know what to think about him. He kind of annoyed me in this episode, because I'm like, way to go. Like, he got Jake killed, because at this point, I almost have to wonder if he likes Troy, because I'm like, you don't do stupid stuff like that unless you're like madly in love with somebody, because I'm like, what is his deal constantly trying to help Troy not die. Like, I mean, unless they flat out say it, like, maybe there, it's somewhere in there where it's like, I already killed their dad. I don't want to be, like, destroying this whole lineage or some crap like that. There's got to be something extra. But it's like, he's just really stuck on trying to help this. It was like, you know, we were cool, so I really want to help you, no matter the cost. Because, like, he'll just bash a dude in the back of the head with a grenade launcher, knock him down towards this horde of zombies, and it's like, yeah, shocker. A zombie got on top of him and bit his arm, and then he got infected. And of course, because they had to chop his arm off with the machete, which is like the sharpest machete in the universe to slice straight through a dude, um, he dies. He, he bleeds out and he dies. I'm like, of course that happened. Wh what is your problem, Nick? Like, why are you saving this dude? But of course, they have to save the crazy villain guy because that's entertaining. So it makes sense um, that they have to do something to save his life. But it was just like, it, it still makes, you know... I know I understand why, but still, the cause for it is just like that's dumb. Like Nick, what the? Why is he like so stuck on trying to help this guy who doesn't do anything but kill more and more people as time goes on? Like he's wiping out or attempting to at least the entire farm. Like that's the whole point of this episode is that he had like you know they had a great. It was a great opening to this episode by the way. I actually like that with him just traveling and being out in the zone. He had like the one bullet and stuff, and he excuse me, he finds the grenade launcher and stuff like that, and he ends up going to the chair where the dead body was, and it was like he was contemplating as to whether or not he should just end it, and then he hears this giant horde of zombies behind him, and it's like, oh, I know what I can do here, and I can, if I can't reclaim my father's farm, I can destroy it, and I can basically do what he would have wanted, which was to wipe out our enemies, so he basically guides the horde towards the farm and that's like the whole point of the episode and so it's Jake going out to stop him and then Nick stops Jake from stopping Troy and that it's a you know that results in Jake being killed Nick and Troy are left out there wondering what's well mostly Nick is wondering what's happening because of Alicia and so she's there and it's her Ophelia and what's the his name is Mad Dog I believe they call him um they're there as like the leaders and everything starts to get get really crazy because they hear the explosion they know that things are you know about to get nuts with this like zombie dust storm rolling in which i thought was actually kind of cool and it's like all right well what do we do they move all the rvs together and of course that ends up falling apart by the end of the episode but they're just trapped it's like just a buttload of zombies coming in and then they all have to, you know, go in the bunker. They have a great moment with Coop. Um, it's like, it's like a nerdy reference, but it made me think of Attack on Titan because there's a specific scene in season two where it was like some stuff happening and it's like, you know, in this episode, Coop had like that final moment. He's like, he was doing good at first. He was doing like some football spins trying to juke him, but they got him and it was like, he knew that he was done for and he didn't want to be a zombie. And so he was going to blow his brains out, but he ran out of bullets. And it was like this moment where he opens his eyes again and he looks at Alicia and she has to look at him and she has to just shoot him in the head because it's like, that's what he wanted. And I was like, that was a deep little moment. I, I thought that was probably, that was one of my favorite moments in the whole episode. And it was just a small little thing where he just didn't want to turn into a zombie. And I just thought that was a great way to do it. But they, you know, they ultimately survive. They fight their way through this big horde. Um, they have a really cool moment. It reminded me of Tyrese from the original series, that part where he's, like, you know, bashing all the zombies in uh, with the crowbar. Um, it was it was a lot like that, you know, when they're going through. It's, you know, Alicia, Ophelia, and uh, Mad Dog. Hopefully that's his name. I know there's dog in there somewhere. It might be Crazy Dog. I really can't remember. That might be it. It might be Crazy Dog. And, you know, they're going through, and they're, you know, just surviving. They actually get through to the bunker at the last second. So they're all in the bunker now, although based on the promo, somebody got bit because things get crazy inside the bunker as well, which is no surprise. So they're all trapped inside the bunker, and Nick is stuck with Troy, and they end up in a helicopter um, somewhere in the next episode as well. So I'm looking forward to what is going to end up happening. I mean, of course, we have these characters all being trapped, but of course, we also have three characters coming back with water that's going to go to nobody at this point, but they are in a giant truck that could definitely do some damage, but, 
you know, it'll be interesting to see how these last three episodes ultimately end up playing out. But I enjoyed this one. Um, overall, I definitely say I liked it. It was just that the stuff with Nick, it was just like, I don't understand the exact reasoning behind why he's like so hell bent on helping the psycho character. And it's just like, I don't get it. They don't really have anything to connect with. It's not like Troy's crazy because he used to do drugs and he's coming off of drugs and he just can't handle it. It's not like that. Troy's just a douchebag who's insane. And he just wants everybody dead because, you know, it's like his dad's farm. But for some, you know, another crazy thing, he just won't kill Nick. Maybe they love each other. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I'm just like, they're doing stuff. And Nick will not let Troy die. And Troy will not kill Nick, despite what he told him about his dad. And it's just like, I don't understand anything about the choices they make, you know, about each other. That's why I'm like, at some point, if they were just like, I'm madly in love with you, and that's why I do the stupid things I do, I'd be like, that makes a lot of sense, because I'm just confused at this point. But that weird relationship that they have led to Jake being killed, and we shall see what happens. And I'm very curious what Alicia's going to say. Like, you, you'd you rather, like, bash his head. And knowing, you know, that they're, like I said, in front of this giant horde, he bashes him in the head and <laughs> knocks him down this cliff a little bit. Of course he's going to get killed. It's like, there's a horde of zombies coming at you, so... I don't know. We'll see what happens with that weird relationship that they got. And if Troy ends up living, I don't know what to think. You know, if he actually does live to go into the next season, that would be very surprising to me. But we'll just have to wait and see. But I, like I said, I did enjoy this episode. That was just like my one gripe. I was just like, this. at this point, it literally got somebody else killed. You know, he was already protecting them way beyond what he should have. Nick protecting Troy. But in this case, it actually ended up getting somebody killed. And it's just like... Now there's got to be a breaking point. Like, this has to be the breaking point for him saying, I'm not going to actually protect you anymore. Or something, I would imagine. So, we'll see what happens. I'm sure eventually they'll end up getting to Alicia. Maybe she'll want to end up killing Troy for what happened. So, we'll see how that plays out. And that probably won't be until, like, either the season finale or the episode before that. But, I don't know. It's just crazy. It's got to change, I would imagine. But... I liked it. Of course, would love to know what you guys thought about this episode, so please comment below. Let me know your favorite parts about it, your least favorite parts about it. And I definitely want to know what you guys think about uh, what happened between Nick, Jake, and Troy. I mean, the whole thing with Jake is that people think he's, like, kind of weak and he doesn't like exactly what's going on. You know, them killing cattle wasn't his idea, even though everyone agrees it's the best plan. So he was definitely having his issues, but him dying, I, I just don't know. I was like, man, that's an interesting way for it to happen. And it's because he was you know he was about to do it. it wasn't like he couldn't kill his brother he was like that's it like he was he was gonna do it and then Nick just wouldn't let it happen so I don't know I would love to know what you guys thought about that interaction and how everything ultimately ended in Jake's death and of course I want to know what you guys thought about this episode in general so please comment below let me know and thanks for watching